Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to make a summery themed wedding gin and tonic. Alright, we're going to start off with a couple blocks of ice this side to keep things fresh, seeing it is a hot summery day and we are all wanting to keep cool and keep proper fresh. Going to add a little bit more than two or three, I would say maybe about five to six. We don't want to water it down though for the slow drinkers who nurse their drinks. Then we're going to come to the important stuff, a little bit of premium handcrafted gin. This one that we have today is by Autograph, an absolutely fantastic option over here at this side. Alright, singles are a little bit of a waste in time and this is a large glass. So we're going to go with a double, just a crispy fresh one over here. Not too little, not too much, right in there over the ice. That's looking fantastic, smelling even better actually. Keep the lid on that bad boy over there. So we've got the gin and the drink already. We just got to add a little bit of Fever Tree Indian tonic water over here this side. So nice small bottle, keep that down this side. All right, all right. No GNT is quite finished without some garnish. So we've got a couple options this side. Here's a summery breeze out today. Nice and warm. So we're just going to add a little bit of mint for a little bit of freshness. This looks like a nice little branch to stick in this bad boy over here. And then a couple little blueberries for some color. Wonderful, wonderful. Two to three more blueberries. Going to give it a quick stir just to make sure all these flavors are blended together. Followed by a short taste test to make sure everything's going fantastically. Oh, genuinely fresh. If we don't want the mint or the blueberries, you always have other options. What also works fantastically is a little bit of rosemary. Obviously, we're going to smash it first for the flavor with some lemon. I'm going to show you how to make a light and crispy pre-reception Aperol spritzer, perfect for a summer's day. Firstly, seeing as it's nice and warm outside, we're obviously going to be starting with a little bit of ice, just like our G&T. Not too much this side. We want to save some space for the booze, obviously. All right, all right. Once we feel like we have enough ice in the drink, we're going to start off with a little bit of Aperol in the glass. Two shots. Always going to be enough. Right, all right. There we go. There's two fresh ones straight in. Once we have our Aperol, we're going to move on to the second main ingredient. We're going to be dealing with a little bit of fantastic MCC by Lawrenceford. We fill the glass about two-thirds total, leave a little bit of space for soda. Once we finish with our MCC, we're just going to finish off the drink with a little bit of the fresh soda water, nice and crisp, nice and light, and we pour it in there, make sure most of it ends up in the glass. Last but not least, we're going to freshen this up with a little bit of garnish, some fresh orange this side. Here we go, here's a decently sliced Piece. It's looking absolutely phenomenal right now. It's going to give it a quick taster. And that's your light and crisp Aperol Spritzer, ideal for a celebration on a warm summer's day. Third and final drink, this is the Red Wine Sangria, a Spanish favorite. Okay, we're going to start off with the carafe this side, and then we are going to add a little bit of fruit. So today we got some freshly picked and finely cut orange as well as apples. We're just going to throw these in here. There's roughly half a fruit each. Once we finished adding our fruit, we're going to add a little bit of sugar. And by a little bit, I mean exactly four spoons, four teaspoons of brown sugar. There's one, two, that was a little bit heaped, so I'm going to flatten this one out just a little bit more. Three and a final fourth spoon of brown sugar this side. Once we finish with that, we're just going to crush it all up to make sure all that flavor is going to come out in our drink. A little bit of a crusher this side, stick it right in the bottom and then use a little bit of muscle this side is what we are going to do. Get out all those juices of all those fruits. Once we feel the fruit's been crushed enough, we can obviously remove our crusher and we'll leave that to sit just for one second, but not too long. Straight afterwards, we are adding two shots of brandy. Today we have a KWV. It's been aged for five years. Once we finished adding our brandy, we're just going to top it up with a little bit of freshly squeezed orange juice this side. 
just enough to cover up our fruits. All right, all right, that should be more than enough. There we go, wonderful. After we've added our orange juice, we're gonna go for the most important ingredient in our red wine sangria this side, a little bit of Merlot by Lawrence Fit, an absolutely phenomenal bottle of wine. I'm gonna pop the cork in this bad boy. There we go, fantastic stuff. Smells divine. Then we're just gonna add it right up to the rest of our mixture over here. This is a carafe, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it all the way up to the top, make sure we got all the spice that we're gonna need for the summer's day. Once we've added our red wine, we're just gonna give it a little bit of a stir to make sure that all of our flavors are blended perfectly. Once we've blended all the flavors together with a quick little stir, what we're gonna do is take a preferred wine glass. This is the one that we will be using today. And we're just going to give it a little bit of a top up, leaving enough space for some ice and then a little bit of fruit on the side. Once we've poured our glass decently full, it's time for a little bit of refreshing ice this side. We're not gonna add too many blocks, just enough to keep it nice and crisp on this warm, warm day outside. Once we've finished adding our ice, we're just gonna add a little bit of garnish to finish off our fantastic Spanish sangria this side. A slice of lemon on the side of the glass is gonna look absolutely fantastic. Let's give it a quick taster. That is properly refreshing. That is gonna be absolutely perfect for any person on a hot day for a wonderful celebration.